Hello everybody, Steve here, and what I have for you today is this uh, dimple lock kick, cyl kick cylinder that I have. It says uh, canard on there, on the key it says canard. I don't see any other kind of writing on the kick cylinder. And so this, if you've noticed, or uh, no, this is, this is a little dimple lock and <clears throat> basically um, when I first started picking locks I kind of want I had the ideas like well I'm going to try out all the different kind of locks and kind of learn the basics of all the different kinds and and then uh, so I ended up buying a couple dimple locks and then I got this cheap honest uh, dimple lock set to uh, to learn with and so I literally only had two dimple locks and this cheap little uh, dimple lock set and and then I got it and then I ended up getting distracted with other projects and so I never got to it and so uh, a couple weeks ago I did a I did a well Joe picks had this little review on this Huck lock pick set and then he gave it away and I was lucky enough to pick it up from him and so he sent it to me but at the same time I said let's do a, a little bit of trade and <clears throat> that way I can pick up some other locks to work on and learn with and so he agreed and so this little um, dimple lock was one of them and so that brings my total number of dimple locks up to three <laughs> and the other nice thing is is this lot huck lock picks that yeah it does have all these different profiles but it does have a couple of these little uh, dimple flags in there and so I'm like well this I kind of decided a little bit ago to let's let me get started in this and so that we can get working so I can get some of these dimple locks going and start learning them so this is uh, basically the first dimple well the other dimple lock I actually got open a couple times but never really done too much more than that but this is basically the the first or you know the, the one that I've been learning with here with it this last week or so so let's uh let's have a go at picking this and I can show you cut some of the things I've learned and first of all normally I'll you know hold this in hand and pick it pick locks but I don't have a hand vise and this is really kind of hard to hold to do that so let's bring out my other regular vise out and I do have I guess maybe I should zoom out a little bit so we can see there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, these, come on. There we go. So, at least I do have one of these little holders to put it in. Guess it should have. I had all this ready, I thought. Okay, there we go. Can we kind of see that a little bit better now? Okay, so here's the key. And the biggest thing with dimple locks is, is that they are different than a regular pin tumbler lock where the key pins are going, you know, where you're pushing the key pins up. The key pins are actually um at the bottom of the of the keyway so i don't know if we can see inside there too well maybe we can zoom in a lot there we go so if you look down the keyway obviously the the biggest difference with the dimple locks is that the keyway is going the opposite way of a keyway for a regular lock like this and so on 
this one you can see the key pins are coming down and then we push the key pins up and then you can see the bidding on the key whereas this one you can tell that the key pins are going or the, the lock is actually going the other way <clears throat> and the key pins are coming down you know from the Bible down and they're basically resting on the bottom of the keyway so it definitely makes it different because instead of picking and pushing the pins up you're actually uh, taking the little dimple flag and twisting after you get them underneath the key pin you're actually twisting to get them to lift up the other thing is is uh, I mean, we'll use a tensioner on this side, and obviously that this, uh, well, let's make sure that this key works, so you can see the bidding on the side of the key coming down, and then you can see that this does work. And with these little kick cylinders, of course, they turn either way, which when we're picking this dimple lock is going to give us an advantage, because what happens is is I'll insert the tension wrench on this side kind of away from the key pins and the what I want to be doing is is if um, if I'm twisting and rotating the pick clockwise then I want to be rotating the cylinder counterclockwise so the opposite way that you're picking so um, I never really, you know, I've seen people talking about doing it that way, and I've never really seen uh, or heard a really good reason why you're doing that. I don't know if it makes it easier or whatever, but I kind of tried it out both ways just to see if it worked. And to me, it definitely seemed like it was easier to pick the opposite way, but I mean, I don't know the exact reason for that, but. So, when uh, we put this pick in, we'll be putting it on the side here, and then we'll be sliding in, and the flag of this pick will actually be sliding underneath the key pins, and we'll be twisting it to, to push the pins up. And the one thing that you have to be careful of is the pins are right in the middle of this, this warding right here. And so if I twist, and if I don't have my pick in the right position, I could actually be trying to lift up on the warding instead of the key pin. So I, you know, you have to watch out for that. And then <clears throat> the next thing is, is every time you're going from one pin to another, you're actually sliding in one, um, the other pin as you're going in. And so I found it easier to kind of try to push it in and go to pin one and try that one and pin two and kind of work on back. And then and then when I find one that's binding, lift it up. And then once I get back to the back, then I come back the other way rather than just trying to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three in order that way. It's just like going one, two, three, three, two, one, basically. And that's how, how I've found works for me so obviously some people that are more experienced might might correct me but <clears throat> that's that's what I'm gonna be doing <laughs> so I'll start here and I'll give it some some uh, tension in the counterclockwise direction and I'll insert the pick right in the corner of the keyway and I'll just slide underneath the first pin and I'll try that out and it's just kind of springy. So then I'll slide in some more to get under pin two. It's springy again. Here's pin three and I can feel a little bit of tension there. But it's not doing anything. So let's go to pin four. Pin five. I can feel that there and you should be able to hear a click. Oops. There's a click there. 
So the interesting thing with these huck picks is that obviously the um, handles are different than a round handle like on these honest lock picks or other dimple picks so it's kind of a little different but it, I mean it seems to work okay so now I'm here I'm working on my way back that was pin four I believe pin three I feel clip there pin two click there pin one okay now I'll kind of work my way back in there <clears throat> There's three, I think, nothing there. This is four, five. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to remember where I'm at. I kind of lose my place. I guess, no, anyway. I just reset it. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> All right, pin five. Pin four, pin three, nothing, pin two, it's a little different picking in a vise than in your hand, but with this little kick cylinder it's kind of hard to, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to hold it anyway. It feels like I got a little bit of core movement there, so now I'm back to one, I'm going to start going back again. I'm just kind of testing each pin as I go. I found that uh, basically there should be a should fall into a false set here pretty soon. And then once I do that, I know I'm almost there. So there, there might be uh, some spools or some security pins in there. I haven't taken this apart, so. If I have enough time, I plan on taking that apart. Oh, look at that core movement there. So we should, we're almost there. So there's one, two, kind of nothing there, kind of wiggle underneath that. Pin three, there's some binding there. Doesn't feel like anything. Pin four, maybe. <laughs> so we're almost there. I know we're getting there. There's a little click there. Okay, so let's see as I'm working back, I'm trying to find another pin. There we go. Now I got that open. So there's my my dimple lock. This is kind of the first time I've gotten a dimple lock on camera. So there we go. We There's our open. So let's uh, let's try to open this up, shall we? Hopefully, it works out pretty good. Zoom in a little bit more. Now we're taking this apart, so hopefully it works. I don't make a mess of things. Let's lock this back up because we got the key. So this is kind of nice because I should be able to just push this pin. Twist this off. Okay, there we go this out of there. There should be a spring in there. There we go. Okay, so, so far so good. There's the key. Let's find a shim to put in there. I'm not sure exactly which one will work. Looks like that might work. Yeah, slides in very well. Okay, follower. Is that the right size? Maybe. Maybe I should make sure that I'm not going to dump pins out. There we 
go. There, no problems yet. That's a good thing. So let's see. Look at that. Pretty nice there. So let's start. Pull this pin out of it. Pin and pin there. I didn't even realize that. That's pretty nice. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. Let's get these straightened out here real quick. So I kind of wonder as I lifted them up there, kind of trying to process kind of the, what I was feeling, seeing how these are pin and pin, trying to kind of process in my mind what what I'm feeling, knowing the difference and stuff, and it it almost felt like some of them just kind of went up okay, and some of them. I had to pick a couple times and so that's probably where that's probably uh, thanks to the pin and pin there we go okay so let's get the stuff out of the top I guess we need to get the shim out okay wish me luck hopefully I don't Feel anything? So that might be why I'm feeling like I'm feeling spools or something like that because of the pin and pin type thing. There we go. In one, oops, goodness, I didn't drop, get that out. Pin two, almost made a boo boo there. Get these springs out. Oops, there's one spring, the other spring is in there. Looks like they're. Kind of the same type of spring. It's kind of nice. I've never experienced a pin and pin before, so it's kind of nice to see. Number three, pin and spring, obviously. Four. Looks like all the springs are the same. Pin five. Oh, thank goodness that didn't go flying everywhere. So not too bad of a little pick there, or a little gut, I should say. Didn't mess anything up too bad. So obviously that when I felt like uh, I was hitting spools and stuff like that, that I was actually hitting the the pin and pin type thing. So let's bring this up so we can get a better look. So all these basically look the same. That's oh, not coming out. There we go. Okay, so there's all the pins. They're all the same, all kind of standard pin and pin. Get the focus in there. Springs are all the same. 
the core looks like it's nothing done to it. It's all pretty pretty standard. The Bible is the same, all kind of standard, nothing different in there either. So anyway, there we go. So thank you, Joe, for sending me that so that I can learn with these dimple picks, dimple locks. And I have two more dimple locks to go and then then I'll need more so I'm gonna <laughs> oh and uh, so definitely gonna have to get some more dimple locks and anyway um, I just remembered that I got a small little dimple lock from Jack Fox in the package I just opened from him <laughs> like oh yeah I got you know he sent those master locks and so it's like oh yeah I did get that a little little Abus dimple lock from him too so I think I have that over here. There it is. Yeah, a little little 30 millimeter dimple lock. I forgot about that. Anyway. So anyway, there we have it. So I'm pretty excited, pretty, pretty excited about this being able to uh, use some of these dimple picks from this cheap puck set or this honest um, dong chi set I kind of started to work on these a little while ago but just haven't I kind of found that this one worked pretty good for me on this one so anyway thank you very much for watching make sure you leave uh, some comments down below sorry it went a little long kind of rambling on but uh, I basically wanted to kind of show some of the things I've been able to learn with these these dimple locks and my first experiences with these since this is kind of even though I played with them a little bit in the past this is kind of my first real real experience with these dimple locks so anyway thank you very much for watching make sure you leave some comments down below and make sure you leave a like the thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.